Greetings, Wildcat families. I am so excited because today is our very first edition of the Wildcat Wednesdays. And what that is, is updates and happenings of everything that we are doing at Bethune Elementary. And I am so excited because today is, can you guess? It is college kickoff day. And if you check out what I'm wearing, I am all decked out in my college gear. And if you look behind me, it is my college logo. Today, I'm going to read you a story all about college and career. And I want you, as I'm reading the story, to think about what Mrs. Driver wanted to be when she grew up. And if you stick around, you will find out. I'll give you a little secret. She always knew what she wanted to be. Are you ready? Okay. The story that we are going to be reading today, it's an AR book, and you can take a test at the end to earn those points for your Bethune Bingo. And it's called, When I Grow Up by Mike Bernstein. when I grow up. It was career day at the Bear Country School. Moms, dads, grandparents, uncles and aunts were teaching students all about their jobs. Papa Bear showed his woodworking skills. Mama Bear displayed her quilts and told about her quilt shop. Too Tall Grizzly's dad, Two Ton, explained how he ran a junkyard with his wife, Tutu. Grizzly Gramps and Gran performed their old tap dancing routine. Finally, Ferdy Factual's uncle, Professor Actual Factual, told them about being a scientist. He showed them his telescope for studying the stars. He showed them his microscope for studying tiny germs. He did a chemistry experiment that made a bad smell. He showed them real fossils from a dinosaur dig. It was all very interesting. As the cubs walked home after school, sister was thoughtful. Brother, she said, do you know what you want to be when you grow up? Sure, he said, bouncing a soccer ball off of his head. A soccer star. But sister wasn't so sure. She had many interests, books, music, nature, science, art, and sports. She could be almost anything. As they walked, Professor Actual Factual and Nephew Ferdy drove by in the Actual Factual Mobile. Hello, Professor. Hello, Ferdy, said brother and sister. Would you like a lift? Asked the professor. You can use my cell phone to ask your mama and papa. Thank you, they said, and called mama and papa before climbing aboard. How did you like career day? Asked the professor. Did it give you any ideas about what you'd like to be when you grow up? Yes, said sister, too many. There are so many jobs to choose from. Good point, said the professor. Maybe we should take a tour of bear country to learn about different kinds of jobs. That would be great, said sister. Sounds like fun, said brother. One actual factual job touring coming right up said the professor, first picking up his phone to okay the trip with Mama and Papa. Now look around, he said. What sorts of jobs do we see? Carpenter, painter, mail carrier, cook. Everyone is hard at work. Uh-oh, said the professor, rounding a bend. What's all this? Wow, said the cubs, a fire. Fire trucks, police cars, and ambulance blocked the way. Smoke was coming from a building. Say, said the professor, you might be a firefighter. You could ride on big red trucks and save lives. You might even save someone's pet. 
I'm sure no one will mind if they get a bit damp. Or you could be a police bear or an inmate emergency worker and keep everyone safe. They are very important, especially today. They drove past the Bear County Airport. I know you're really into airplanes. Brother, you too, sister, said the professor. If your dream is flying, you could be airline pilots and fly a jumbo jet. Or you could fly even higher and really go someplace. Outer space to be exact. You could be an astronaut and blast off in a rocket to the stars. The professor and the cubs passed a construction site where giant dump trucks and earth movers were digging, plowing, and pushing, and piling. On the other hand, said the professor, you might decide to keep your feet on the ground. Try on a hard hat and put some mega machines through their paces. Now there's a job you could dig, he added with a chuckle. <laughs> That's pretty funny. They drove into the countryside past Farmer Ben's farm. Farming is a very important job, he said. Farmers grow the food we eat. Without them, we might starve. Wow, said the cubs. They had never thought about Farmer Ben like that before. Farmers grow all our wheat and corn, our vegetables and fruit. They raise farm animals like sheep, goats, pigs, chickens, ducks, and turkeys. Farmers work all day plowing, planting, weeding, and harvesting, he added. They still have time to milk the cows. Let's move a little faster, said the professor. We have many more jobs to learn about. He pulled a lever and a big propeller plopped out of the actual factual mobile. They took off and flew across bear country. They flew over Big Bear High School. They saw teachers in their classrooms, just like your teachers, and coaches with their teams. They flew over Grizzly Medical Center. They saw doctors, nurses, dentists, and other health workers. They flew over downtown Grizzly Town. They saw shopkeepers, delivery bears, plumbers, sign painters, bus drivers, mechanics, road crews, and repair bears all busily at work. Perhaps, said the professor as they flew on, you are more the artistic type. Maybe an artist's life is the life for you. You could paint pictures or become an author. You could act on stage, dance in a ballet, play in an orchestra, or sing in an opera. There are many interesting and important jobs to be done, said the professor as he turned in the actual factual mobile towards home. But there is one more very important job to learn about. They flew low over a neighborhood of family homes. It's the job of a parent, a mom or a dad, that may be about the most important job there is. The professor landed in the backyard of the Bear family's treehouse. The big propeller folded back into the actual factual mobile. Brother and sister climbed down and waved goodbye. Goodbye, called the professor as he and Ferdy drove away. I hope you enjoyed our Bear Country job tour. When you think about what you want to be when you grow up, just remember this little rhyme. So many different jobs to be done. Just choose the right one and work can be fun. That's so true. So I promised you at the very beginning of the broadcast that I would share with you what I wanted to be when I grew up. So it's time for you to learn what Mrs. Driver always knew she wanted to be. I'll give you a minute to take a guess. How many of you guessed it? Ah, uh, I always wanted to be a teacher. So if you guessed it, you were right. And you too can be anything you put your mind to. You just have to work hard at it. And just like the book said, 
if you do what you love, work will always be fun, okay? So I want you to enjoy the rest of your day and enjoy the rest of this week and learn all you can about colleges and career, okay? Have a great day and I will see you again next week.